Three weeks ago, Trayvon Martin stepped out for some Skittles and iced tea. The 17-year-old spotted by Neighborhood Watch volunteer George Zimmerman, who calls the police. This guy looks like he's up to no good or he's on drugs or something. He's a oh, They always get away. Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we don't need you to do that. A 17-year-old boy, unarmed, gunned down by a Neighborhood Watch. I don't want to be like Trayvon Martin's mom, burying my child. Today, suburban moms Racine Tucker Hamilton and LaGretta Dennis are giving their sons specific instructions for survival. The uncomfortable conversations, necessary for generations, still taking place. Once they started looking like men, which is about 14 or 15, even though they're children, I basically told them, now you're perceived as a black man in society. Even a trip to the store is not routine. I tell them always you have to keep your hands out of your pocket because people will perceive that as threatening or they may think that you've stolen something. If you walk in a building and you have your hood on from being outside, take that hood off. But I am urging the parents of black and Latino youngsters particularly to not let their children go out wearing hoodies. I think the hoodie is as much responsible for Trayvon Martin's death as George Zimmerman was. Racial profiling has to stop, Mr. Speaker. Just because someone wears a hoodie does not make them a hula. The Bible teaches us, Mr. Speaker, in the book the of Michael 6, 6, the member, will the member will suspend. These words. The, the member will These suspend. words. He the has member, shown you, old man. The member will what is suspend. Good, the chair must remind what does members not, of What does the Lord of require of you? But to do justly.